I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Okay, he has a house in Riften? Aye, a gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Vold to guard the place. Vold. I will take care of it. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Really? Really, really? Like anyone? Well, he left a few things in there, including a chest filled with sweet rolls. So what exactly is missing? Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercy sweet rolls, everything. as I mentioned. Even all of our plans are gone. Plans? Plans for what? Before Mercer took over, Gala started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. Okay. So how could he have opened the vault door alone? He's learned how to do that special puzzle lock thing. I wish he could teach me before we kill him. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without Obviously keys, not. It's Demonstrably so. Open. But I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. And what, you need all three or you need two? I'm going to guess you need all three. No, because you opened it with two. So you only need two. As long as two of you are in agreement, you can open it. And you and Delvin didn't. All right, fair enough. Unle you don't suspect Delvin helped him, do you? Okay, what is the best way to get into Rift Weld Manor? Carefully, I'm guessing. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself. And that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Ramp, balcony. I don't suppose the ramp is easy to access. When you say watchdog, do you mean an actual dog? This is that person or thing you told me to look out for. Is it an actual dog or you just say watchdog and it's the name of a person? Is the ramp easy to access? No, it's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Oh. Well, luckily, luckily, my friend there is a crack shot. I just wonder if I can tell him to make the shot, or whether or not I'm going to have to acquire a bow of my own. I really, I really want a small little crossbow. That's what I want. I want a tiny little crossbow that's neat, perhaps foldable, can just sort of store easily, and then take out for moments like this. Yes, indeed. You mentioned a watchdog. Huh. That'd be Vault. A real Vault. piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Okay, it's a Talk person. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Yes, you didn't need to add the last part. Okay, let's speak Careful at Mercer's to place. Vex. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. Now, unfortunately, Vip of the fleet won't the speak to me. And I say unfortunately because I was honestly giving some thought to getting a little training in pickpocket. It's, it's progressing very slowly because I'm kind of reluctant to just practice it willy-nilly in towns because... If I find Mercer first, I'm gonna crush his skull with my bare hands. Yeah. Okay, well, I picked up my weapon and then I delivered some jobs. Oh, I do have. Come on, Larry. Let me take care of you. I can take care. Oh, I forgot there was a letter on the desk where Bjorn Brynjolf is now. Shipments arrived. It's another to actual use. Okay. Our shipment arrived and the following items are on your list. You want it, I need to see the gold. Fire salt, paralytic poison, black briar private reserve, shadow banish wine, whatever that is, and chokeberry preserves. All right. Okay. I heard what happened, and the guild owes you can we, can we do this over here? Right. 
Vekel! It's been a long time since anyone joined us. Seems like people are in a rush to leave. Uh, well, you know, your you, you guild master betrayed you all, so that, that might have something to do with it. I recovered all of Arundel's journals. Good. I was hoping you hadn't forgotten about it. I sort of did. Promised, here's your payment for bringing but I was there anyway. Got it as part of a fair trade from the client. Okay. Uh, fine. Steel war axe of souls. I'm not really a war axe person, but thanks, I guess. Uh, what's the word around the guild? The word is that Mercer Frey is a dead man. The guild wants his blood. I can't say I blame them. Murder is not our way. Gallus was before my time, but I still can't believe it. You need to teach him a lesson. Show him the penalty for betrayal around here. Excellent, excellent. This is what I like. See, see, murder is not our way, but I think we should. I think we should extend that rule a little and say murder is not our way, except for when it's called for, like if you're discovered or somebody annoys you. Something like that. So, you know, okay. I'm, I'm glad you guys are beginning Something. to see the benefits to offing the occasional person. Need to stay focused in case Frey comes back. Make it fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of about that. I... Brynjolf said you'd have info on Vol Vald. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Okay, I want to get on his good side, maybe, or stab him. There's, there's, that's plan B. Vald, good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Oh, okay. So we could bribe him, buy him off. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give Maven. you details. Maven, okay. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. I really am glad you guys are embracing this concept. I, I, there, I think yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I would. Oh, that that was a given. That was an absolute given. I really do want to take advanced lab. However, there's not much point doing it right now. I might save the perk. I have no poisons or potions to make, so I won't get the 25% boost. I probably will get another perk before I reach 50, so then I can take Lab Skeeva. This is going to be really nice. When I take one of those regeneration potions that takes, uh, that lasts for, say, 300 seconds, 15 times longer, that is going to be really nice. So whenever I want to do some preparation, I just find an alchemy lab and then I chug a regen potion. That is going to be very, very nice indeed. So, I'm probably going to save one perk for that. I really still cannot... Oh, I so want this. It's just so annoying. I want this. I want this so badly. I need to try to pickpocket more often, but it's just so dangerous in cities because... There is a 1 in 10 chance, no matter how easy the thing is, that I'm going to get caught. So I think, right now, sneak attack. There's a t th I am tempted, I will admit, I am tempted to also take Assassin's Blade as well, because that would be 62% more damage on top of it. And it would open up Backstab, which gives 25% more damage and critical damage. I mean, that's just, that's a nice one. This entire branch could make a huge difference, as long as I've not been seen. That's a, a fairly big issue, though. Oh, yes, and I do want... When I get to 70, to take this one. Stand still for 8 seconds while sneaking, and enemies within 150 feet will no longer search for you. So I'm a lot better at getting away from pursuit. I do like that idea for some fairly obvious reasons. Right. Let's go and case Mercer's place.
Well, that is indeed the house, and it is guarded by a half-naked, very large person who is just wandering around in a simple circle. This means he lacks imagination, which is a very good trait in a guard, actually. You want somebody who is not easily bored and can do the same thing over and over again. The gate here requires a key. I think that is the mechanism I'm supposed to shoot to get access to the upper area. Now, does that mean we can do that without talking to Vard? Possibly it does. This gate also requires a key. Now, I, I still don't have a bow. I'm not... Can I even... I will aid you if I can. Oh, I can't tell you to shoot it. I, I would need to borrow your bow. You... you... I am with you, my friend. Oh, I've just remembered. Yeah, you don't lend your bow out, do you? No, you don't. To be honest with you, I'm not totally sure how getting the mechanism down is going to help too much anyway. I still have to get through the gate. Yeah. Let's go and talk to Maven and see what the deal is with Vard. And... Okay. I believe she is home. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, I'm here to speak to... Oh, you're the daughter, right? Aren't you the alchemist? Loving daughter, I think you are. Right. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I'm just curious. If I was to erase Vald's debt, how would I do that? Vald? Why would you want to help that idiot? Um... He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. Yeah. Out of curiosity, what did he do? A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Ah, uh, he's in debt because of a quill. The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. Ooh! Okay, I don't really fancy the idea of swimming down under Lake Honrick. And I have to tell you right now... Okay, don't tell her right now. N just look interested. What is the Quill of Gemination? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Possibly. You didn't answer the question. You didn't actually answer the question. What is the Quill of Gemination? The Quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in exacting detail. I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. Oh, I want that. What if someone else got their hands on it? Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only to myself. Oh. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. Me? I would not dream of that. Not even for half a second. Do you keep the formula for the ink anywhere around? We're not really going to be stealing from... Maven Black, right? No, we're not. How did it end up in Lake Honrick? I had Vald meet the caravan from Winterhold on the western end of the lake so he could avoid the roads. The idiot got lost in the mist and ran his boat right over some rocks, sending it straight to the bottom. He's too stupid to remember where he was, and any attempt I've made to find it in the past has been unsuccessful. Uh, any ideas where I can look? Bottom Vald of the... said his rowboat struck some rocks. I'd check under the water near one of the small islands in the lake. <sighs> Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting soggy again? <sighs> I have to be honest, I think I'm just going to go stab him. It's, uh... I believe we're done. Yes, we are. I, 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 I... There's a part of me that's really offended by the idea of such an 
awe-inspiring thing being at the bottom of a lake. But then the idea of giving such an item to somebody else, even an ally, is just... I mean, it's useless to me. We give it to her, she'll be even more grateful. I mean, we could still stab Vard anyway if, the, if, uh, if we feel the need. Where, where, where was it? Golden Glow. Somewhere around... Oh. Infiltrate. Shoot the mechanism to lower the ramp. Should we do that anyway? Should we just do that to see what happens? Out of curiosity. Uh-huh. Uh, I, what do you think of our current situation? Should we go and get... Do you want to go swimming back in Golden Glow Lake? Riften Market is not as well equipped as the surrounding shops, but I do like the hustle and the bustle. Yeah, that's not quite what I meant. Um, okay, let us see what we have. Can I borrow your bow? No, we need to find a bow then. We need to get a bow. Oh. Okay, let us get back to it. Oh, I don't know. Rescue a quill that I can't yeah, use or Imperium. can't keep. Or just kill him. I'm really going to do this, aren't I? I mean, it's one thing to just go and splash in some water to get where we've got to go. But it's another to go swimming in a lake, probably filled with slaughterfish and other horrific things, to get an item that I just cannot use. Unless, of course, we do get the formula for that ink. But it's the, the idea of leaving such an item at the bottom of a lake, I just can't I won't go back do it. What is she? Excuse me, what do you keep talking about? You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. What lexicon? You've got a... What are you talking Memories. about? Memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away. Return them to a Monchenzel. You uh, must take the lexicon from me. Okay. Please, take it now. You have a... You have a... Sure, uh, yes, yes, give me the lexicon. Is it valuable? You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. Yeah, I will... What on earth did she just get lexicon? Take the lexicon to a Monchenzel. Ooh. It's... It's very ominous looking, isn't it? It's a... I don't think I could sell it. It doesn't look to have much value, but... Okay. It's kind of cool. Uh, yes. We will We will head right over there instantly, won't we, Inigo? We will take the lexicon and return it to... Mm, well. Okay, I am... So, yes, I'm looking for a quill at the bottom of the lake. She said, start at the docks and swim towards Golden Glow, which is there. All right, let's do this the sensible way. Water breed... Oh. Geronimo! Oh. Oh, it wasn't that. Uh... It, is that one of the... Okay, it's just a normal fish. All right. We're looking for a sunken boat, I'm guessing. Am I still heading towards... I am. Near some rocks. Are there any rocks? There's a small island there. You would have thought it was reasonably... No, that's... We're actually at Golden Glow Estate now, aren't we? All right. I'm... Please don't be a slaughterfish. Okay, rocks. Could it be towards... There? You'd think if he'd crashed here, he'd just be able to snap out and pick the thing up. Oh. I probably swum right past it. Is, is it in a boat? Or is it in... Oh, that's... Oh, oh God. I'm drowning. I'm... Uh, we're probably still not welcome here. 
You know that, right? Is that... Oh, okay. Vold strong. Oh, God. Strong. But swim against the current. Swim ag Okay. Come on. All right. Oh. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, no. And quill of gemination. Go before we drown. Okay. Return it to Maven. Not a chance. I'm sorry, but... No way. Now, we can just walk in there in broad daylight, but I suspect there are a number of surprises waiting for us. We carefully make our way through the house, and we almost certainly come out there, take out Vald, and then shoot the mechanism that's up there with a bow that I don't yet possess because I've not bought one. They are actually expensive and then enter the top area. Now, most houses actually have stairs inside that will go upstairs, but I think that's probably unlikely. Otherwise, Brynjolf would have said, oh, just go through the front door, lad. Go through the front door and just ignore Vald. He's dead thick. He's gonna stay wandering around the backyard, so I'm almost certainly going to have to. You know what? We could just try chatting to him here. You never know, I am a very persuasive person. Okay. Hi! This is Mercer Frey's place and he don't like visitors. Now go away. Yes, no, I'm... I need to get inside. I'm a friend. He's forgot his favourite boots. The one that actually make him walk quietly rather than like an elephant. No visitors. No way. Now piss off before you make me mad. <sighs> okay, how much will it cost? Come on. There's got to be an amount, and it, you're not going <sighs> to... Let's try. You ain't got enough coin to make my problems go away. No, I didn't think Unless so. Unless you can talk Maven Blackbriar into letting me out of my debt. I, I probably can, but I'm not going to. Try one foot in this yard, and I'll cut it off. Re <sighs> Seriously, you, you just want to be out of town right now. Things are going to go badly around here. You don't want to be in the middle of them. <laughs> That's funny. You think you can take me on? Try it any time. In a fair fight? Probably fight. not, but I have a few tricks under my sleeve. Uh, oh yeah, Mercer needs you in Markarth right now. Pick up those boots and take them to him. Oh, come on, I ain't that dumb. Yeah, yeah all right, it was worth a try. Um, all right then. You... I don't care. Is this the key to the gate? Is this the key to the gate? Is this it? Okay, we... Is, is, I mean, it won't be the key to the front door. We already have the front door, don't we? I think... Yes! Okay. Look. Ooh, flowers. Okay, we can get right in there. That means we can skip the downstairs. Mind you, I was kind of hoping we might go in there and find stuff, including a bow. Also, if we just walk out that door, we'll be face to face with him. Thing is, I know it's broad daylight, but this place is... Should we just see... If there are no guards coming, maybe we just... Um Go in here and take him out? I mean, as he says, he's uh, probably going to take me out in a fair fight, but, uh, you know, who said anything about a fair fight? Right, now. Here's the thing. I actually have some rather nice poisons. I've got some poisons of paralysis. And if we, oh, my weapon is, oh, this one's already poisoned. Yeah. 
That night in game, that Nightingale Blade, I actually wanted to improve it. But we need Ebony to do that. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Ebony is not just lying around waiting to be picked up. However, I think that blade, plus a paralysis poison, should uh, turn the tide. Mind you. Let's try with the dagger, first of all. I think what we do is we wait for him to do the whole... this thing. Then when he turns... Oh no, let's wait for him to start moving again. Wait for him to start moving again. Keep your eyes open for the guards. And then... Slip him behind. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is poison. Not so tough now, are you? No, you're not. Ooh, dragon's tongue as well. Right. Um. Oh god, I should have practiced. I should have practiced my pick. You know what? Probably knowing my luck, I would have failed that horribly. Okay. Uh. No cabbages. So where is the best place to hide him? Do any of the guards wander that far? Probably not, but maybe. Can we drag him? Can we drag him over here? Oh, come on, why can't they pick him up? Come on. That's, that's his mace. I'm bringing his mace. I just kind of want to move him over here so that the guards won't see him as easily. Come on. Do I have to? Is it better if I stand? Come on! I've... I've managed to slowly move him into these bushes. Very slowly. I heard a guard. Okay. Maybe the guard doesn't come this far. Maybe they don't come this far, but I'm... I'm... I'm hoping. Just stay there. Stay there. Oh, you can see the body if you if you if you stand there. But if you just walk past, maybe a bit more. Maybe just a bit. More. Come on in. Come on in. Here we go. Come on in. Come on in. Let's let's just move it a little bit more. Just just a little bit further. A little bit further. Oh oh, it's getting a little easier. It's getting a little easier. It's getting a little e easier. All right, that. Right, he's now inside bushes. And I think he's... Yeah, now. We have to shoot the mechanism. Is that the thing underneath? It and jump. And you won't shoot it for me, will you? You just won't you won't shoot it. Yes. Nope, you won't. Okay. Moving out. No, nope. right. Fine. Then what I'm thinking we do is we go on in here and see if we can find a boat. The door is barred from the other side. Really? Really, really. Really honestly. Oh, God. Go on. Out you go. I wish I could lock the door behind me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because come I want to close it. I want to make it look untouched. I'd actually like to leave that one locked. Oh, look. Flowers. Don't mind if I do. I've not seen any nightshade for quite some time. All right. Okay. Now, just in case, I'm going to have my sword ready. You don't think he's got more guards inside, do you? Door is barred from the other side. Oh, really? You know what this means, don't you? I've got to buy a bloody bow. Well, that was a few hundred gold I didn't need to spend. 
Well, technically, I didn't need to, didn't want to spend. With that bow, and you will get better. It's not really me, is it? I mean, I, you know, it's a bit large and heavy. I'm not totally sure how you carry one of those and walk through doors without getting stuck, personally. All right. Now, I'm going to assume... Okay. Oh! Do we have a key? We did just, we did just steal a key. There we go. I wonder if I could have actually shot that and snuck past... Sure it wasn't you. Go to college, Darcet. Use your smarts, he said. That brat ain't <laughs> like I'm supposed Could to figure out which college he was. Okay, he's got a bunch of bandits staying in his house. Really? Okay, this is where I find a bow, isn't it? Should have known she was Just lying. Said she'd wait for me, but they never wait. This guy's back to me. This guy's back to me. Stairway. Stairway. Okay. Oh, pickpocket. Need the practice. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Very effective now. Yes, it is. Whoa, he's been pilfering someone recently as well, hasn't he? Gonna start keeping a knife in my boot, trying to get disarmed. Okay. Activate doorbar. We'll do that in a minute. Let's identify and eliminate any and all Keep threats. Magic sword, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Wish I could turn wood to gold. Let's go downstairs first. It is dark. Yes, it is. Statue, no traps. Once was a woman as fair as an evening of springtime in Old Stros Mackay. Door and is someone there? Oh god. Get ready, we got Is he gonna see you or me first? Nice! Okay. Very nice. Was that the last one? I think that was the last one. I'm not hearing anyone. Okay. Light. Ooh, sweet roll. Okay. So, we need to find what Mercer was up to. And we also, of course, need to steal everything he owns that has any value. And we're going to start with... A few treats. Here you go, mate. Uh -huh. Out of curiosity, any thoughts about what we're no, doing? No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. Your your stomach probably is as well, so here you are. What is yours is mine. Have a sweet roll. Suspicious cabinet. Oh... Okay, false back panel. We can go in there in a second. We still have... Read to the owner. To the owner of the Rift Wield Manor. 
I'm not accustomed to working under these conditions of secrecy, but your generous compensation for the inconvenience was more than adequate to complete the project. Both the balcony ramp and the floor mechanism were interesting projects. I hope you'll find them functioning to your surprisingly specific specifications. If you should have any further need of my talents, please call on me again, Kilthinius Dandoril. I wouldn't be too surprised to find him dead. Yes, all right. Oh, got a few silver goblets. Those are not even going to be stolen, so we can sell them in the market, which is nice. Yes, indeed. So, the master bedroom. What did you have in here of value? Hello. I've seen no sign of a floor mechanism. Maybe it's, uh, on the other side. Of oh, my God, it's dark. I don't hear anyone. Ah, uh, pull bar to activate from that side. And mm, you know what? Now, he did have bandits in his house, which does suggest he's in league with some people that are not affiliated with the guild. We kind of knew that anyway, or suspected it. He's uh, not exactly loyal. What is, what is that? That's a trap, right? That is a trap. Okay. Is that the floor mechanism he was talking about? I sort of feel like not. They were talking about the manor. If we don't... Okay. If we don't find a floor mechanism... So, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be like poison and stuff, fire maybe, oh god, could you, yeah, 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 back off, I might need you to wait, this is almost certainly the floor mechanism he was talking about, the question is, Okay, there's a fiery scorch mark there, but not there. Okay. Do we just step where there's no fiery scorch mark? Is that how we do this? Probably. No fiery scorch mark. Good. Fiery scorch mark, mark. Bad. Mind you, I'm saying that, having not stepped on a fiery scorch mark, but... You're all right. I have a horrible feeling if I did the same thing, I would now be on fire. Okay. Right. Well, you obviously are very light on your feet. Oh, no. Apparently not that observant. Okay. What do we have here? Iron boots. Maybe that's what I should be putting on my feet. Iron boots in case they get spikes through them. Okay. Running! What did I... What did I... What did I, what did I trigger? What did I trigger? What did it? Could have sworn it. Okay. Brilliant. 
Yeah, no, I'm thinking I keep that up. Mind you, is is the bug enough? Probably. All right then. Okay. I want you. Yeah. Because I don't care how light you are on your feet. All right. I need to go to the to the barrel. To the barrel. That's where I'm going. Whew. All right. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Was I a little too close to the blades? I was apparently. I thought I was. Uh, I thought I was. I thought it was good. All right. Okay, just stay out of the way of that. And then. The box? Please tell me that's not... Right, okay, we're safe. The box. There's nothing hitting the box, or is that one in front of the box? I, I can't tell. Box. Yeah, box was not being hit. Right, okay. Is there a lever that stops it so I can tell Inigo to come? Um, there does not seem to be a button marked Stop Swinging Death. I'm sorry, you're probably going to need to stay there. I will, uh, I will come back the- oh god. Yeah, I'll come back the other way and get you. Yes, I will. If I can't... I'm probably looking right at the button, aren't I? Probably looking right at it. Oh, well. All right. Continuing on. Okay. And... I wasn't actually expecting that, but I'm glad I'm in the habit of stepping to the side of doors. Should have been expecting that. That was... Oh! Oh, there's the little... Ah. ah. Yes, you definitely... Definitely... Have thought of that. All right. So. Children's display case. Children. What the hell is children? I... L Okay, then. Mercer's plans. Money. Strong box. The red kitchen reader. Sneak has improved. Nice. The lusty Argonian maid. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save that for later. Um, many thanks. M. Not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dower to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis, unlock the armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle-locked chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another job for you. Ah. Well, I'm assuming M is Mercer. Okay. Interesting. Before we take Mercer's plans, let's... Ring of Grey. Fortify Sneak by 20. Bows deal 20 more damage. Increase poison resistance by 25. That is nice. Yes, it is. So, let's get this nice, shiny, green sword. Uh, I can't imagine it would be useful to me. Oh, my God. He says completely and utterly wrong. Oh, my God. Th that's not that far off, this uh, Nightingale blade. Won't be able to uh, improve that either. Children, target takes 30 points of frost damage. Chance to paralyze for two seconds. Oh my god. That would save me on the old... Um, the old... Paralyzed poisons, but... 
it's it's a bit well glowy isn't it i mean it really is kind of you know well glowy glowy is the word yes it is i mean that's a little more me you know me with poison search okay dwarven chests nice got some stuff of value any books that i don't a guide to bruma <laughs> maybe we'll visit it one day you never know yeah the the bow damage is not that useful but the poison resistance and extra sneak definitely bust of the gray fox i'm going to guess this is going to be one of those delvin things yes okay Mercer's plans. Speak to Brynjolf. As soon as you find... Okay. The Ratway Oh! This leads to the Rat... This leads to the Ratway Vaults. We can actually get through the Ratway Vaults and get back to speak to Brynjolf this way. But, um... If you dash really, really, really fast, you could probably make that. No, you're probably right. Never mind. No. 